Hello, let's do Wordle number 520, and for the biology theme, Tyler McDormand suggested powerhouse because the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. So let's do that. Unfortunately, we're going to get that yellow O in the same place. Ooh, we just get an O. Hmm. All right, well, I'd like to try to place the O and get more letters. I think an O in the middle is the next most likely option here. We also have an A and an I that we haven't tried, so what can I do here? Something like a long would do a decent job here. It gets me the L, puts the O in the middle, tests an A. It's not great. I'd like to get the T, which is the most common letter here, but I think it's not bad. The L and the N is pretty good, so let's give that a try. Ooh, okay. Well, I was expecting the O to be green, not the A, but I'll take it. So, ooh, so it's A something something, and then there's an O maybe fourth? It could be last, but what could this be? I need letters. I think I just need to get letters. So can I use five just brand new letters here? Because I am not thinking of this word. What even could it be? Can I end an I... Uh, oh no, sorry. I was going to say ending an I-T-C-H, but I don't need the H, so that's not good. What about ending an ICT? Like, I mean, addict, but I think the addict, does addict have two Ds? I don't even know, but it doesn't matter because I don't want to start with A on this guess. What are the chances there's an O? I think there's a pretty good chance there's an O because we could end in something like EO, like audio, for example, but it can't be audio. Or we could do AI something and then O. I don't know what words those would be, to be honest. Let me look at EO. I'm trying to figure out if I should include the I in my word, or if I can just use maybe the O somewhere else. I'm actually not sure. With the letters I have left, it's it's tough to come up with a word. Maybe ending an I-C-K would be good? What would do that? Something like flick, but I don't need the L. I'd love to get the T. Is there like tick? It's like ticky a word? It would be great if ticky was a word. Tiki's a word for some reason. Okay, well, there's an I. Wow. Uh, does this word only have vowels? I did not expect nothing from Tiki to be... <laughs> I didn't expect all gray from Tiki except the I. I was expecting the I to be gray and then to get some nice letters from Tiki. Oh no, I'm down to guess five. What is this word? Um, let's look at this some more. So it's not A-I, so it could be A something I-O something. Like, it can't be Axion because there's no N. Could it be axiom? I think an axiom is an assumption, like a, a, a baseline assumption that you make in uh, like a, a, a proof, a mathematical proof. I really can't think what else it would be, to be honest. I'm going to go for axiom. I think it tests some good stuff as well. Nice. It was axiom. All right. You may have heard of the axiom of choice. Um, there are some simpler axioms as well that we, we just assume in our math because there's no way to prove it. We just assume the axioms and then build everything else off that. Isn't that wonderful? All right, let's pull up our wheel of themes. So here we are, let's spin that. Ah, the states of the USA suggested by Bacony. So do what, do what you will with that. I'm interested to see what you come up with. Two words related to US states. And of course, if you enjoyed this content, then leave a like and subscribe.